Hi YouTube, Bobby from Buff here. Um, I am working on a new costume and uh, my new build is going to be the Wampa from Hoth from Empire Strikes Back. I'm hoping to finish this costume by um, April of next year for Celebration in Chicago. Uh, I started this video with Groot behind me because um, I feel like we could, I can learn a lot from my build of Groot here. and. Uh, it's a stilted costume, so I'm going to be employing some of the same strategies. I'll take you on a little tour here in my basement. Um, now I'm going to turn around. Behind me is um, a duct tape dummy that I made. You can see the, the silver duct tape right there. Um, and I put some clothes on it. And it is set up on the stilts for the new costume. So those stilts will make me about seven foot four, which is uh, hopefully within the range of limits for the uh, Wampa for um, 501st approval. I'm also gonna show you something else here. I ordered fabric, right? So I ordered, um, I ordered uh, fabric from Hobby Lobby. It was like $16 a yard or something. And then it was on, you know, you could use the coupon. So it was like, 40% off of that. So pretty good deal. I ordered 12 yards of it and I got it. Let's see. It came like this. Um, it came cut into um, two pieces. I thought the bolt would be 12 yards, but it looks like the bolt is actually probably only eight. So I think they sent me um, four and eight. I didn't unpackage these because I'm going to return them. Um, it looks pretty good it's not too bad the pile is supposed to be four inches and it's really more like maybe one and a half or two so that pile just wasn't going to cut it so i went back to the drawing board and i ordered from uh, fabric.com uh, i ordered the curly long pile curly yak hair in white which is what i'm standing on i ordered eight yards of this stuff and uh, you can see it spread out here in my basement. And it is awesome. Uh, let me get over here where the light's better. And I'm just gonna give you a quick view of the pile here. This is like super long and curly and it's sort of matted and it's perfect for the Wampa costume. So I'm really happy with that. So I'm definitely going to keep this curly yak hair from fabric.com and I'm gonna return the Wampa fur. I might keep a bit of it. Um, I don't actually know how much I'm gonna need. This is eight yards and it seems like a lot, but I think when you start cutting it, it's gonna go fast. So um, anyways, uh, I might keep a little bit of that other fur and make a second head for the costume with uh, more like Bumble from, uh, you know, from the Christmas story. Um, I thought that would be kind of cool to have a second costume that was more kid friendly in case uh, there's ever a situation where, you know, I want to do an appearance, but I'm a little worried about, um, you know, scaring kids with, uh, with the wampa, with the sharp fangs and the bloody mouth and all that stuff. So, all right, well, um, stay tuned. I have a lot more updates coming. Um, this video or this build is just beginning and so I'm hoping to finish it by April fingers crossed um if you have comments suggestions if you built a wampa please chime in here let me know help me out um if you built if you build fur costumes tell me about that i don't know anything i literally am making this up as i'm going along um my friend bonnie i want to give her a shout out she's been super helpful already uh in getting me in touch with the right people to get this so uh, this fur so all right um stay please subscribe to my channel I'm halfway to a thousand. If I get to a thousand, I can re-monetize. So help me out. I have 140,000 views on YouTube, but I don't get monetized because I don't have a thousand subscribers. So help me out. Please subscribe. Tell your friends. Thank you. You're the best. Talk to you soon.